Nice, let's get back in the end zone. Oh, I felt so good. It felt so good. And honestly, it meant more than just a touchdown. Um, just, I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in the end zone, so it felt good. You've had a very up and down career, the two season ending injuries. What's it mean going into your senior day at Lavelle Edwards Stadium to you? All kind of where it's gone? Uh, just grateful, man. Just grateful to be here. Grateful for the people that have surrounded me throughout the journey and helped me stay here um, on and off the field, academically, physically. Um, just grateful, blessed, and I've said it before, it just feels like a whole nother lifetime. And so I'm just, it kind of just hit me last game, honestly. It was, I only have two more games in Lavelle. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just trying to soak it all in and cherish every moment that I have left. I feel love about this, but you know, having gone through the transitions you've gone through as far as coaches, and you know, this year the player, you know, the player leadership emphasis has kind of you know really expanded. Mm -hmm. What's that been like as far as the leadership and, and the roles you guys have had to take on with those various challenges? I think it's awesome. I think it's a great opportunity. I think all the the great teams um, are led by the players and are led by. Um, great leaders and so I think it's been cool for an opportunity for a lot of us to step up and fill those roles of leaders on the field um, I overheard Leva say at the end of the day we're the ones on the field that's true um, at those moments those critical you know fourth down moments or big big time moments when you need a first down it's the guys that you're looking in the huddle the guys that you're looking on the field that you got to trust and so to have that opportunity in the prep throughout the year and the week during practices being able to hear each other's comments and lead and coach, it gives each other confidence on the field. And that's how it's been for me. How, how important has it been to establish that culture? Because you guys are playing a lot of freshmen, a lot of young guys, mm -hmm. but to have that culture for the juniors and the sophomores to take on this role as the seniors move on and that you know that turnover happens, how, how important has that been? I think it's critical. I think it's really, really important because like you said, we're a young team. And so I can say for myself, when I was first got here, looking at the older guys, um, just learning from them, I learned more from them than I did anything else. Just watching how they practiced, how they played, what they did to be successful. And so I think it's huge for us because we have a lot of young guys and a lot of great talent. And for them to look up to a lot of the great players we have, seniors, you know, Diane, Austin Lee, um, Micah, Aleva, all these guys, offense and defense side of the ball, they can see these guys and how they've done it and they're successful. And so I think that's the best way to learn. How much of, of that leadership and culture that was talked about, how much do you attribute the last three games and the turnaround we've seen over the last three games to that? Uh, a large majority, a large majority. I think the coaches, I think it's harder on them, honestly, because imagine being a coach, you kind of have to step back and you've – implemented this this culture where it's like hey we're gonna we're gonna trust them and so for them it's been hard because they have to sit back and trust that what they've decided to do to let the players coach is going to really work and so I can't imagine for them to see that kind of downhill you know those two two losses to sit back and let us kind of take control of that I think it's been hard but in the end I think it's paid off when Lance Reynolds and, and that previous staff back in the day were recruiting you, why did you pick BYU, and has it <laughs> lived up to, to that for, for your pick? Um, I just, I mean, I just, I just knew, honestly. You could just feel it. It just felt right. Um, got the same feeling with my wife. I just kind of knew. <laughs> I just knew BYU was the one. I mean, they wanted me, and that was the biggest thing. Um, they showed love to me, and then... There's nothing, there's nothing like playing for a school where it shares your same belief and your same faith and being around so many guys that share that same thing. So that for me was just, I knew, I knew it's what I needed. I didn't know it would entail at the time. I didn't know it would offer so much more than I expected and it's exceeded my expectations. So I'm glad I chose here. You've seen a wide spectrum of different teams here, this program ups and highs and lows, yeah. but what's maybe been different about this team compared to previous years? Um, I'd say the number one is the the opportunity we've been given to lead. Um, and then just, I, I've never been around guys who've been so close to each other just off the field and chemistry wise. And honestly, we just, we like each other. And it's shocking, but there's a lot of teams, there's a lot of players I've been around 
where it's just hard. They don't they don't get along, and this team honestly gets along off the field, and so I think it's a huge tribute to the success we've had. This is senior day, but getting ready for a team, you know, not at the same level. But again, coach said you can't overlook anybody. Uh-huh. So what's what's the most important thing about preparing for an Idaho State and for this game? I think just treating it like a, any other game and learning from the hard lessons we've already learned early in the season. Um, coach Kalani talked about uh, regrets, and he said that, you know, Obviously, we regret those losses early in the season, but it'd be even worse if we didn't learn from it. And so I think we all know now not to overlook teams that we we should beat um, because on any given day, especially in college football, any team can come out and win. So we're not going to overlook them. We're just going to prepare like we always have and learn from our mistakes from last game and move forward. There are, there are obviously too many teammates to name individual, but what do you hope that this kind of senior class is uh, is maybe most known for or most remembered for? If you could pick one or two things. Uh, that's hard. Just resilient. I mean, a lot of these guys have been around a couple head coaches, a couple OCs, a couple defensive coordinators, a couple position coaches changed, and just the senior class in general, a lot of my – and these, these guys will be friends for life. They're just resilient. Um, they fight. They love the game. They love each other. They love the school. Um, so I think – I don't know, be remembered for anything, just resilient and the passion for the game, for each other. What are some of your goals maybe after BYU? Do you plan to pursue an NFL career and things like that? Yeah, I mean, I definitely plan to. Um, it's my dream, and i got to give it a shot. You know, I don't want to have regrets. You know, I want to give every, everything I have is a short moment, a short short time in your life to pursue football, so I'm going to give it absolutely everything I have and see how long that goes, and if not, then work hard at something else. <laughs>